Today, we got the Jerome and Franklin dynamics, specifically the conversation that was had at the end of season six, episode two. So first, who was right in your opinion down below? Jerome or Franklin? Now, it's real hard to sit here and say that Jerome is wrong. Just for the simple fact that Franklin don't even think he's right himself. And we seen that after he was tripping at Jerome and Louis wedding. Your life is my failure. What? You messed it up. His subconscious predicted everything that's happening right now. Predicted that everything would fall apart and he would be to blame. And he still couldn't fully see that failure that Jerome see. The failure that his inner self see. The Franklin that thought he was helping people on the surface, but was really destroying them. <laughs> I help people. <laughs> help people. <laughs> My God, you listen to yourself? What about Mr. Wright? What about him? What about Kevin? And even Rob, a man, boy, your dad? And all the you and your little motherfucking minions them plotted on in between. The Franklin that think it's all about money. The Franklin that seems to have forgot about the journey and the bodies it took to get to this millions of dollars. This blind Franklin that thinks his family should be grateful when they can't do nothing but resent him. Resent him for what it took to even reach this point. Franklin used you. He used you the same way that he used us. He got you out here catching bodies. And then cause you kill a goddamn kid, now you see the light. Now to Franklin's psyche, it was justified. No, I made me and my people rich. Fuck kind of life will they have without me? But to everybody else, it was just ugly, evil, and selfish. They don't see it that way, and they never will. And you don't see it theirs. Which is why Jerome had that meltdown last episode. And I look at you, and I wonder how to, how to fuck up so bad. Is it my fault that you become a scandalous, cutthroat? Bitch made nigga that you are right now. Now, as he said, he blames himself for the man Franklin has become. Now, but at the end of the day, those were Franklin's decisions. Decisions he had to make to get to the point he's at now. But how else are you supposed to feel when you hold that position in someone's life? Now, Jerome can't help but blame Franklin for the person he has become too. As Franklin said, everything Jerome has is because of him. Everything you have is because of me, right? What about nephew? Blood money. Bodies on me. That includes the bodies, the heat from the police, his wife being shot. True. That's true. But what about the big wedding? The millions of dollars? The wife bossing up and getting off the sherm, owning a club. Now we've seen Franklin accept, similar to Tariq. He's a monster. He said it himself. Now Franklin eyes at this point, it was all worth it on the surface. Even though his psyche disagrees, he wanted to build a legacy and do better than a cubicle job, right? What? Sitting in some shitty ass cubicle? Wiping the white man's ass? And it's more than this, but let's keep it on him and Jerome for now. I'll try to give you legacy. Something more than a subwoofer on a weight bench. And if you hadn't let yourself get played by that trick you married, you might have Help Jerome do more than sit on his porch and lift weights, sell dime bags. Waiting for his girlfriend to come down off her high. All nappy headed and shit. I remember. I remember. I remember, Louie. You gonna boss up. We ain't forgot. They used to repeat that each day. For Jerome, it wasn't worth it. And he felt like that from jump. He warned Franklin what this game would do. I can legitly say Jerome was okay with his life before. Even if it wasn't going nowhere. He didn't have all these problems. And he also was able to think for himself. Like, like he ain't been in control of his life. Something is always happening or like needs to be done. And Jerome always seems to have to push past his morals, but he ain't the only one. But like I said, we keeping it on Jerome and Franklin today. It seems like Jerome is finally at his breaking point. Fuck you think you talking to? <laughs> you ever live? You ain't gonna do shit. I don't fucking do shit. As a result, not to mention his wife has turned into a damn menace. Not that he didn't know this much because he been getting his ass manipulated, but I'm a chill. I'm a chill, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I hope to hear from y'all down in the comments. We got more season to go. I'm a chill. I'm gonna just say this though. I see both sides, but the perspective I'm gonna stand on today is Franklin's. Damn right. Everybody played their role. Everybody. Everybody did some shit they wasn't proud of for the sake of the end goal. More on that later. 
And I ain't even get the Louis yet. Don't even get me started on her. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button, man. It's been your boy successful. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.